have your cowboy hat. Pull on those boots. No, we're not in Nashville. It's line dancing night at Six String Grill and Stage in Foxborough. A lot of people around this area love their line dancing and their country music. Every Wednesday at 8 sharp, DJ JR and Emily Landry of Country Road Entertainment lead a group of devoted dancers. He'll actually teach any new people who want to learn how to do it. The first half hour, he'll do some lessons with them. One thing I really find interesting is that every song that he plays has a certain dance to it. Think Electric Slide or the Macarena. Regulars know their way through the routines and help novice dancers stay in line. Manager Gordon Houghton says line dancing is only one of the entertainment options at Six String. We have something really every night. So Monday nights we'll have cornhole competitions, Tuesdays is our trivia, Wednesdays is our line dancing. Fridays and Saturdays, the stage is dedicated to live music. We have country music, we have rock, we have heavy metal, we have Garth Brooks coming in. We had Brett Michaels, he was here twice. Customers arrive early on Wednesdays to fuel up for line dancing. It is a country kind of based menu. Our chicken and waffles is very popular. Our Nashville hot chicken sandwich. All of our burgers are really good. Families come in, we have a lower dining, so people with kids in high chairs, you can perfectly sit there in our record town area. And then anyone who wants the high top area, closer to the action, to the music and all that, we pay it to them too. Line dancing is free and no need to bring a partner. This community of dancers only asks that you bring your love for all things country. They wear their cowboy boots, they wear their Daisy Duke shorts, they wear their cowboy hats and they really, they really love it. Not into country music? Head to the other side of Patriot Place for a game day vibe. We have a 25 foot LED video screen that captures all the video from every game as well as we run the sound during the game. This is CVS Sporting Club. While this restaurant may be perfect for watching the big game, Joe Mazzi says there are options for those that may not be the biggest sports fans. If you want to go casual, totally cool. Sit at the bar and have a drink. And if you want something a little more formal, you can sit at one of our tables or the pods that we have, these luxury booths with leather seating, and have a nice date night out with your uh, loved one. Daily deals are a way to keep costs low but still enjoy a night out. Every day there are different specials. Thursday is Kids Eat Free, Friday is Free Flatbread Friday. But if you're looking to spice it up, House Made Hot Sauce adds a kick to the ooey gooey buffalo mac and cheese. And the touchdown burger is topped with whiskey grilled onions, pickled jalapenos, and thick cut bacon. Mazzy says the wings are a home run. Wings are a huge hit here. People come to the game and they want to have some wings and some beers. This is the place to do it. In fact, uh, Ty Law, Gerard Mayo, and uh, Dante Hightower love the jerk wings here. During the winter months, diners sip on drinks and igloos on the patio. The view isn't bad either. They're heated and have light. Drinks are more than just game day beers. The hashtag up all night is the sporting club's take on an espresso martini made with vanilla vodka and coffee liqueur. Or maybe something a bit bigger. One of the neat features here at CBS Sporting Club is the shareable cocktail. It's perfect for people that have four or six at their table. Mazzy says favorites include the fourth and long, vodka pineapple juice and fruit punch, and the wild card blueberry vodka and dragonberry rum, topped with two spike seltzers. <laughs> Whether you're dining with family or dancing with friends, there's a little bit of something for everyone in Foxborough. And on the first floor of yes. the sporting club is the comedy scene. And every uh, Saturday night, they have regional and national comedians perform. Yeah, people come, grab a bite to eat, stay for the show. And this weekend is comedian Steve Sweeney, this Saturday, oh, uh, February 8th. And if you want to grab one of those igloos, make sure you make a reservation in advance because that's a hot ticket. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> a spot for both Valentine's and Galentine's.